All right, so I'm going to just talk briefly about um, how you can select, um, use the select not just to rename things, but to select just a subset of the data that you might be interested in. So this data frame is not very big. It's, there's many, many observations, but there's only eight variables. Sometimes you're working with data frames that are much, much bigger and you might want to just select some of the columns to look at so that you don't have to scroll across to see um, to find the ones that you're interested in. So you can use the select function um, to look at just a handful of the, the variables. So let's say that we want to select, and then again, if we go to tab, it's going to it's going to tell us what it's expecting. So we want to select, and maybe we can even choose from this menu. We want to select the data as the clean beaches, and then we just list the columns that we want to appear in our um, in our subsetted data. So let's say that we're just interested in the um, council and site, and we're interested in the reading beach bugs. If we run that, you can see that it's created this simplified data frame that is now only three um, three columns wide, rather than the original eight. Now, this is a useful way to reorder columns if you want to pull some columns um, into onto the left hand side so that you can see them more easily. So what you can do is use the everything function to say I want to select from the King Beaches these three and then everything else. Okay. If we run that it gives us our eight columns back but the first three are the ones that we're most interested in. All right, so um, let's say we'll label this so that we'll remember what we're doing. Select a subset of columns. 